hello friends today in this tutorial we are going to learn about how to create grid lines in Revit software okay grid lines we call it as axis line sometimes reference lines we call it as center line also but in the Revit software we call it as grid lines okay so grid lines are used as for the reference lines yesterday we have created some levels in the previous tutorial ground floor first floor second floor so in this tutorial also we are going to use the same levels what we have created okay now for every plans grid lines are must like you have to give your column reference or any uh, wall reference or staircase reference anything you can take from your grid lines okay so for that what i will do first i will be on my ground floor plan i will click on the ground floor plan okay and i must set my drawing area if you see on the screen you have these boxes and arrow symbol these are our elevations like east elevation north elevation south elevation west elevation if on the screen if you click any one of the what we say boxes or arrow mark you will get to a elevation okay now what we'll do what i will do i'll select ground floor plan okay and go to ribbon architecture tab and i will in the data section i will select grid lines when i click grid lines i'll get this modify command of grid lines okay so the first option will be our line second option will be like start in radius for arc third option will be for center in arc and fourth option is very important pick lines option this option is used when we uh, link our cat files or import our cat files then we can take with this option we can copy the grid lines from the autocad plan okay so now first we'll start with the basic part okay so now what i will do i will select the first one option lines option okay that line option i'll click and i'll start drawing a grid line so first i will draw horizontal grid line horizontal means like in our x axis okay vertical means in our y axis so we have to decide when we are drawing our grid lines in the horizontal axis we want to give the numerical order or you want to give alphabetical order here i am getting numerical order in my horizontal axis so i'll click on that one and that number 11 i'll change it to i will change this value to 1 okay then i'll click enter and now my value is set to 1 now again i will go to architecture tab okay and i will select grids and i will draw two more grid lines okay now if you see we are getting some what we say distance between the grid lines so that is the distance between two grid lines we can click on that and we can change that value also okay now if you see on the screen we have this dotted blue color line that line is showing that our grid lines in points are arranged it is an aligned order okay so we can use this dotted line as a reference and again on the right side also it is showing that we are straight now if you see while we have drawn our first one grid line we have uh, given the value 11 but i have changed it to 1 so next value has come 2 third value has come 3 so if we change any grid line then the next value will be according to that value okay if i have given a the next value will be b if i have given b the next value will be c now i will draw over y axis lines vertical lines so again i will get here after three four definitely will get so i'll get here four but this four i'll get changes to a i'll uh, in the y axis i will use alphabetical orders okay now once again after changes this after changing this value to alphabetical order i will go to architecture tab and data i will select grid line i will draw the remaining grid lines okay now this uh, distance between two grid lines we can take uh, it depends uh, on the distance between two columns or two beams or two footings or two walls or two staircases anything it just act as a reference point it will help us to draw our plan okay now this is the procedure for drawing grid lines in Revit software but in the Revit software only if you want to do bring AutoCAD plan okay so how to follow the procedure what we have to do we have to go to insert tab and we have to select link add option and we have to bring one dwg file 
cat format files we have to bring okay so for that what i will do i'll go to my file location where i have saved the drawing i'll select one drawing okay and i'll select click on open but if i click on open then it will get open but i have already opened it okay so what i will do i will go to manage link in the cat format i'll select the drawing click on the drawing and i'll select the option reload okay so when i press the option reload it will load itself reload itself at the location where we have saved it okay now when it is done i will click okay now if you see on the screen we have a cat drawing with some cat lay uh, column layout okay now for this drawing what we have to do we have to copy grid lines by using this cat drawing so for that we have a nice option here which one pick lines option so for that also we have to follow the same procedure okay we have to go again to the architecture tab okay in the ribbon above we have to go in the architecture tab and we have to select grid lines okay but when we are selecting that one we have to keep in our mind grid architecture tab grid lines okay now here we have to select this option pick lines when i click on pick lines now i'll come to my grid lines if you observe here i am zooming zooming here here if i hover means if i keep my cursor on the line i will not i am not clicking here just keeping my mouse above that one so it will highlight okay when i click a new grid line will form but this newly formed grid line is uh, giving name as e but we have here ag so you can go with a dash g or you can have here simply a okay now the remaining grid lines i will click okay just i have to click the grid lines okay and I'll, i will get my remaining grid lines very fast and very easy with the same distance what we have in the cat drawing no need of no need of giving any distances just copy it okay now in the y axis if you see we are again the same problem we are getting here h so i will change it to the numerical order and remaining six i will select grid lines okay now in the horizontal seven grid lines and the vertical seven grid lines we have completed okay now to show the difference difference in the sense how uh, it will appear i will select the grid lines of rivet okay and i will move it aside okay i'll move a little bit aside so that we can see the difference now if you see here on the right side we have grid lines which we have copied from autocad drawing on the left side we have autocad drawing itself okay so this is the procedure to copy the grid lines from autocad drawing same thing you can copy column same thing you can copy footings each and everything what you have in the cad drawing you can copy but still if you are facing any problems while creating grid lines you can comment us you can write us through our email id or you can contact us through our website but please do like subscribe and share with your friends okay thank you